settle in for a night at the theater. The stage is set, the broader script's written, but your choices shape how other characters react to you. You can lose friends, respect, and the moral high ground. Can't lose the game. You're the star, playing our three main characters. Blogger Romana T, print reporter Jack Bellin, and detective K.C. Gaddis. Ladies and gentlemen, the Prologue <coughs> Theater welcomes you to this production. Please, no videos or flash photography. Enjoy the show. Another beautiful Florida sunset, tainted by a dangling corpse. Jim Larman, janitor at Chief Roadside's Wonderland, finds a new mess to clean. The demise of has-been Hollywood star, Tag Kern. It's a horrible job on the best of days. Shit, not again. Meanwhile, on I-95, Romana T, stuck in traffic, dodging her editor, hunting for a last chance. Not much else to do while the traffic crawls. So young and soon to be so unemployed. Boing boing cartoon sound effects. Just the right touch. Save my ass with money. The traffic doesn't seem to be in any hurry to break gridlock. I didn't think it would take him so long to call. I'll get the story nailed down first. Stupid mistake. 
Your editor must have been furious. It's done. Can't undo it. So, that's what it takes to lose a job you can do in pajamas. Let's start from the top. You were in traffic outside Jacksonville two days ago when you heard the news. Yeah, the internet went nuts over another dead actor. Tag Kern killed himself, they said. But that wasn't even the real story. I've been blogging for fan rage. Guess Kern's death is my last hurrah. Or maybe it saves my job. Or lands me a new one somewhere else. Chief Roadsides was lost to obscurity before I was born. Last blip on the media radar was when Dolphin's second string quarterback Dooley Quinlan got his tongue stuck in the penny presser on a bet in 1983. the smell. You outed Deandra Allister, TV's favorite wholesome hetero mom. Her people insist she's not gay. A maid at the Teal Towers told me she saw Deandra making out with Angie. Yeah, I read the story. So did a million other people. She's not gay. TV's favorite mom. Bet our hit spiked through the roof, though, right? You screwed up before, but never anything of this magnitude. Go big or go home, yeah? You're on your ninth flight, Kitty. Tell me, how you plan to justify your phony baloney job, man? I'm at ground zero for the death of Tad Kern. Get something online soon. Make it good. And no more mistakes. I can make sure it's interesting, or I can make sure it's correct. No guarantees for both. Don't support the tyranny of institutional racism. Chief Roadsides is a culturally insensitive relic. It's tacky, sure, but it's mostly harmless. How can you say it's harmless? It depicts Native Americans with demeaning stereotypes. It doesn't affect me, really. You just don't get it. I'm here about Tag Kern, anyway. Oh, right. You're that blogger, Phaedra. I read your stuff. Am I the only person in this country who didn't hate Meacham? What's with the fancy motor coach? Those folks are with the Church of Us. You know, the Weists. Kern was one of them. Maybe they can tell me more. Maybe. Or maybe they'll try to brainwash you into joining their crazy cult. I'm not worried about that. Never been much of a joiner.
You were a prismatic, at the very least. It's the hair, right? Really, I was talking about your eyes. Thanks. You should see them when they're bloodshot. I'd be fascinated to see how you fare on the Opto Levels test. An Opto who? The test measures your status within the Church of Us. The lowest possible level is Primordial. The highest rank one may attain is Dark Matter. Gotcha. Will you take the test? It's a one-time offer, I'm afraid. Sure. Let's get on with it. Even the color smells pretty. Flip the phone over so the screen faces down. Nothing Canadian, though. Mom, sitting on the balcony, serving tea in china cups. At least you tried. That goes a long way with the boss. He'll catch up with you later to talk about current. I'm forming a raid group to take him down. Later, Phaedra. Alright. Time to chat with the man who found Kern dangling from that tower.